we've had an opportunity to hear some of the experiences that were enjoyed as this Kingdom Hall was constructed. And no doubt it reminded you of the many hours that were involved in the labor, actually hours of love. And we appreciated that. We had many memorable experiences. Well, Brother Aaron Brandon has prepared a very beautiful uh, reminder of all that is involved in the construction of the hall, especially our Kingdom Hall. So we'd like to uh, give, ask you to give your attention to Brother Brandon as he presents to us construction highlights of the Kingdom Hall. Well, just so everybody knows, uh, we're going to be cut. So uh, we'll leave on these four sconces. So if you're afraid of dark, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to scoot this around so I can see it because I'm going to try to talk my way through this. So uh, if we can have somebody, I guess we, we're going to arrange for that. Somebody cut the lights there. Brother Ginther, could you cut that light right back there too? Great. Give us just a minute to set this up. And we'll get started. So who would have guessed it? The Cedar Valley congregation sold, the McLeod Springs congregation sold, and we purchased land, all in less than a month. Jehovah's blessings and intentions became very, very evident. What did he want? And the glory of Jehovah will certainly be revealed and all flesh must see it together, for the very mouth of Jehovah has spoken it. Jehovah wanted a kingdom hall where everyone could see his people at work. And that's exactly what happened. But it wasn't gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take a lot of effort. Look what we started with. I wanna turn it up a little bit. went the call. We had a lot to do. Look what happens. People show up and they have smiles on their faces because they want to work. They want to build Jehovah's house. We had a lot of work to do. Remember the ditch on 26th? It was a mess. We had the help of a four-wheeler. Fortunately, nobody got too crazy. We were cutting down trees. Fortunately, nobody got hurt. We had a monkey in the house. That would be Brother Finch. He didn't notice the power lines. Food was provided yet again by our wonderful cooks. Can we handle this kind of construction for a thousand years to come, brothers and sisters? So now it was time to get serious. There was plans to be made, meetings, sketches, email, announcements, and did I mention meetings, and more communication and meetings. We had Brother Gardner paint this with watercolor to give us a concept of what we were going to get. Pretty close. Sister Finch with the concept of our landscaping that we had to present with the brothers and sisters of the interior. 
So now it's time to get serious. We posted the sign. The public now knew what was going to go on this land. And it was time for the Ragsdales to start moving dirt. And that they did. They showed up with their heavy equipment. The neighborhood was now seeing a transformation officially take place. And Jehovah uses everybody. That's my personal favorite. Al learned a lot during the project. Can you see Brother Hammer? Behind the camera, always. Look at the transformation. Remember the silt fencing? Wasn't that a lot of fun? Up to this point, we didn't have any rain. After this point, we had a lot of rain. Good thing we had it. I really thought there was something better than using it. Brother Finch, she got on the ditch witch. Brother Gilner and Brother Gilo in the ditches. Now you're starting to see foundation. Brother Barter I was really wondering what that line was for. Sister Detweiler with her food, along with the Bargers. A little history in the making there. We had to run a whole lot of drainage tile through the entire property. That was a project in itself. Jehovah wants us always to have a solid foundation. We spent a lot of time on the foundation. Did I mention meetings? We had many discussions about rebar. And Brother Elias assuring Al that everything is going to be okay. Now we're starting to see concrete being laid. This project was the most amount of concrete that the RBC has had to handle in the Iowa RBC. So now the plumbers arrive. And we have our slab floor. inventory people, the cashiers, and aren't we glad for them. Look who showed up. We're having tile now. It rained that morning, so everybody was trying to decide if they wanted to tile or not. My brother Disterhoff went fearlessly ahead, and we had tile. So now, after a month's worth of work, it was time for something. For landscaping. Oh boy. And landscaping it was. Hauling blocks, sweating in the 90 degree air, and everybody helped.
and everybody was sweating and happy. So now the walls go up. This is day one of our build. And we're gonna actually start seeing progress. We're talking Thursday. By noon, we had trusses. I look over to keeping guard. Thursday evening, there's our building. Friday morning. More meetings. Already putting sheeting. Fearless security. We had the news out and we had good publicity. Something that as we noticed before, we didn't have in the past. So what a blessing. Mr. Novak inside the food tent there. This is all on Friday. We have windows by Friday evening and a stage. Amazing. Day three, 618, Brother Ross in his shuttle. I really thought that book was funny. Now day four, we have a roof. Most all of our brickwork and we even have a garage. And we have our first meeting. I don't think there was a dry eye. Even though we were all sweating. Amazing after four days. Now Saturday the 25th, the Agators come in fearlessly to start putting up drywall. Now they're gonna finish the drywall the next day. And we have our sound equipment being installed in our cupboards windows and our information board. Now Wednesday, June 29th, we decide to stay. I think that lasted till over past midnight. The paint crew shows up on July 1st. by the faux painters. They did an absolutely outstanding job. All sisters. So all the finished work now, including the side. mentioned that the average age was 63 and see them all out helping everybody comes and helps so
So now we want to introduce to you Jehovah's new house, brothers and sisters. Psalm says, I rejoice when they were saying to me, to the house of Jehovah, let us go. And isn't that the truth? To the house of Jehovah. We are proud to be your witnesses, Jehovah, aren't we?